Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Today I'm visiting my mechanic and uh, well this is a workshop for cars and they fix brakes and they fix well more or less everything on the car and they have IT equipment so uh, today we're gonna be cleaning up a server and I just wanted to show you that server because this is why I love IBM servers so much in here in the corner on top of their safe is there um, oh we need some light don't we we need some lights there it's a bit dusty here but this is a uh, the more than ordinary awesome Lenovo slash IBM x3650 model one and um, yep it runs and have been running here for about five years and I kind of clean it every year or every year and a half because well it's a workshop we could just have a peek out into the workshop where the cars come in right here and well they fix quite a lot of brakes and stuff and so the server is right next door and it becomes rather dirty so um, they're running VMware on that server uh, ESXi 5.5 I think I haven't upgraded that for ages uh, obviously um, but today I'm just gonna shut it down and we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna blow it clean with the air compressor which is well it's actually right over here that one so it becomes really dirty along with everything else their ordinary office machines also becomes rather dirty. I cleaned that one today, so that's not so bad. So I have entered the vCenter vSphere here to uh, manage the servers that are running here. And we could just have a look at that. It's not a whole lot of servers, but it's just a little bit. Instead of having four different servers, we have, we have our domain controller, we have our manager, we have a remote PDF, Navision print thing and we have a jackpot auto remote navigation something so um, they're all ready to be shut down so I can right click on those and I can sh power those off um, shut down guests so we're gonna do that on those four machines and they're gonna be shutting down Oops, error. yes and this one and the domain controller shut down yes and VMware will ask the operating system as nicely as possible to uh, shut down and it will do that and in just a little bit the domain controller will be down as well and we can sh turn off the server um, it's uh, kind of working on it down here it hasn't yeah it's it says that it's shut down it's still working on that now they're all off, so we can go up and pull the big button here, here, enter maintenance mode, we will use that one. No, we're actually not going to use, are we? No, we are going to exit um, maintenance mode. The server is set up to actually boot all the necessary machines when we power on the server. In the event of a power failure, which occurs once in a while down here uh, the server automatically boots those machines again when the power returns so let's just power it off we're just gonna select shutdown and it will complain that it's not in maintenance mode and we are good with that and the reason well that's okay let's call it clean name cleaning okay cleaning okay and the uh, host will be shutting down. We might just be able to catch it when it turns off. I'm hoping. There we are. It uh, shut down very nicely and is now blinking which means that it is powered but not powered on.
it's quite uh, dirty. Okay, I brought the server outside and as you can see it's it's very dirty and on the back here well also quite dirty so let's open it up and see um, how bad it is inside <laughs> yeah it's uh, very dirty Just bring you a bit closer and see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, it's um, it's well needed, but as you saw, it's still running, and it has um, not missed today yet. So I'm gonna clean this, and we're gonna have a dust show from the, from another world. Ordinary compressor. These are just 73.4 gigabyte drives, but 15,000 RPMs. They don't need to be that. That was just what Morden had left over. There is still a lot of dirt on this. I'm not able to clean everything off, but I just want everything to be uh, a bit more cleaner and I'll clean it again in a, in a year or so and hopefully it will be all good. Um, I do have spare parts for this server, as you might have seen. So, that way. And more plastic. These are to direct the airflow to the right places in the server. And, well, they're very good at that. This one goes over the CPUs. Cool. And the riser card here. Also the same thing. Just clean it a bit. Okay, so now the server is kind of clean and I'm kind of ready to move it back into its space. 
I'm gonna go clean where it's sitting as well but well, well, that has really nothing to do with the server so I've moved the server back in here and it, it only has two connections it has a network connection for the um, RSA2 adapter which is located here and it has a network connection and that goes in well, port 1 or port 2 I really forget if it doesn't work it was the other one but I do believe that I had a lot of trouble getting that cable out when I couldn't see it behind there so I do believe that it's port number one here and we connect two power cables to it uh, which are not long enough for me to plug them in while it's in, in this angle so I'll have to turn it around and plug those in okay the server is um, powered but not powered on you can see that it's blinking over here and it's actually a lot easier to see the LED over here now because it's a lot cleaner so we'll power on the server and it will be booting so the RSA adapter in this server is very quick we should have access to that in just a tiny little bit the RSA adapter RSA2 is uh, up and running it just run the standard password here so let's see if the server is doing well um, boom, boom, boom. Yes. see if it's complaining about anything it's uh, rather a lot to open it up and take it apart and do all of this so sometimes you can experience some bad things but it seems like the server is operating normally it does not recognize the operating system because it's VMware and the server is too old to know VMware so but otherwise everything looks good um, we have a big green button so so far so good okay. now we have gotten so far so the web spear client is also able to see the server or it has booted and all the machines here looks to have started up all by themselves I haven't touched it I just logged in so that was that was about it um, totally taking down the server and cleaning it and powering it up again so well, awesome I do really not recommend you having your servers this dirty but well it's just that dirty here and uh, it you can clean something one day and you can come the next day and it will be not as dirty but dirty this is why I love these IBM X3650 model ones so much. They will run through anything. Um, and it is still my favorite server. It's my favorite server model as well. I do like the whole series, but I really enjoy this first one. It's like a tank. It just crushes through anything. It it's, isn't that fast, but it's a workhorse or a tank. You pick. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.